Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek, keeping you in the fast track with daily EV and green energy news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, December 14th. Electrek has learned that Tesla is now offering one year of free supercharging to incentivize deliveries by the end of the year in attempts to break another record. The automaker needs to deliver more than 181,000 vehicles this quarter in order to meet that goal. That's more than 40,000 vehicles over the last record. Tesla's putting all of its effort into increasing the Model 3 and Model Y production and quickly delivering the new cars locally as an insane record quarter might actually be achievable. Friday night, we reported on Elon Musk telling Tesla employees that it really mattered to increase production. Electrek learned that Tesla has already achieved its goal for the Model S and X deliveries this quarter, and now they're focusing on the Model 3 and Model Y. We will know if this strategy paid off in the first week of January when Tesla releases their fourth quarter production and delivery numbers. Tesla announced that it's going to shut down the Model S and Model X production lines for an extended period of time during the holiday season. It's the latest indication pointing to a possible design refresh for the vehicles. While the design hasn't changed very much, Tesla has introduced several significant performance improvements to the Model S over the last few years. Back in 2018, we reported on Tesla working on a significant interior design refresh that was, at the time, planned for the summer of 2019. Regarding the upcoming shutdown, it's not unusual for Tesla to shut production for the holidays. However, this 18-day shutdown is a lot longer than usual, and also it's not happening in the same timeline as the Model 3 and Model Y shutdown. This episode of Quick Charge Podcast is brought to you by Electrify America the nation's largest coast-to-coast charging station network for electric vehicles. No matter where you're heading, they have chargers nearby. And at charging speeds up to 350 kilowatts for capable electric vehicles, they'll help you get there fast. Find out what they're up to at electrifyamerica.com. That's electrifyamerica.com. Electrify America. Hello, freedom. Zoox, a startup developing an electric and autonomous vehicle that was recently purchased by Amazon, has unveiled its autonomous electric vehicle. It has a massive battery pack, actually. Today, the company has unveiled the vehicle, confirming that it is a shuttle-like vehicle designed for autonomous ride hailing. They write, quote, Designed and manufactured in the U.S., Zoox is the only vehicle to offer bi-directional driving capabilities and four-wheel steering, which enables maneuvering through compact spaces and changing directions without the need to reverse. At 3.63 meters long, the vehicle has one of the smallest footprints in the automotive industry. The vehicle features a four-seat face-to-face symmetrical seating configuration that eliminates the steering wheel and bench seat seen in conventional car designs. The vehicle also features a 133 kilowatt hour battery, one of the largest batteries in electric vehicles today, allowing it to operate for 16 continuous hours on a single charge. Now, the vehicle looks like a gondola carriage with the sliding doors akin to a convenience store. It's adorned with antennas on all four corners of the roof and wrapped in panoramic windows. The company didn't specify when the robo-taxi is going to be in operation, but they did confirm that it is currently being tested in Las Vegas, San Francisco, and Foster City. Subaru has announced a new upcoming all-electric car, which will be a Forester-sized vehicle in one of the weakest vehicle announcements we have seen to date. Quote, scheduled for introduction in the first half of 2020s, Subaru's all-electric vehicle will be a mid-sized SUV, similar in size to the Subaru Forester model. It will be built on a platform shared with Toyota. Now, Subaru only offers a vague timeline of the first half of 2020s and says that more information is going to be released next year. Also, the automaker made the announcement through their European subsidiary, which could indicate that the electric vehicle is only coming to Europe, where where emissions are of a stricter manner. If Subaru stalls this project until 2025, then the automaker may have a hard time recovering after the shift to electric vehicles. Mercedes-Benz is reminding everyone that it's serious about electric vehicles as they unveil several new electric car pre-production prototypes. The automaker is preparing to bring six electric vehicles to production in the next two years alone. And the news today, Mercedes noted the 2021 launch of the electric luxury sedan, the EQS, the compact SUV, the EQA, another compact SUV called the EQB, an EQE business sedan, and an SUV variant of the EQS and EQE, which those two will be in 2022. Marcus Schaefer, head of research at Daimler and COO of Mercedes-Benz Cars, commented on the announcement, writing, quote, With its electric first strategy, Mercedes-Benz is consistently on the path to CO2 neutrality and is investing heavily in transportation. 
Our vehicle portfolio becomes electric, and thus also our global production network with vehicles and battery factories. We intend to lead the field of e-mobility and focus in particular on battery technology. Now, considering that battery tech is already on the way from Tesla and even Toyota, we're not quite sure how Mercedes plans to be a leader in the battery space. Rivian was spotted testing its delivery van near the company's facility in Irvine, California. The van is part of a deal with Amazon, who actually ordered 100,000 of them. The photos taken on Saturday show the van that is very much a prototype. It's missing the standard camouflage-style wrap that most prototypes get, and the front and rear end are also covered up. The van has an entourage of three pre-production R1T vehicles from Rivian, although these trucks we've seen many times before, it didn't exactly help the van blend in. By the way, the R1T truck comes out this summer, and the launch edition of the pickup is already sold out. And in Electrex Green Energy Brief, China's President Xi Jinping vowed on Saturday at the UN's Virtual Climate Ambition Summit to nearly triple the country's wind and solar capacity during the next decade. The Financial Times reports, quote, President Xi's appearance was the most anticipated as he pledged China would cut its carbon intensity, which measures emission relative to the gross domestic product, by more than 65 percent from 2030. This was an increase from its previous goal of 60 to 65 percent. President-elect Joe Biden released a video demonstrating that the U.S. will rejoin the Paris Agreement immediately after Biden has been inaugurated. Biden has committed to net zero by 2050 and chose John Kerry as the U.S.'s climate czar. The U.S. will hold a climate summit that will include the world's major economies early next year. And finally, in Electrek's personal mobility coverage, TV personality Simon Cowell is apparently considering taking legal action against an electric motorbike manufacturer after suffering a serious injury. The electric motorbike Cowell was riding is known as a Swind EB-01, which packs approximately 60 times the power of a legal electric bicycle in Cowell's native UK. After crashing the bike under extreme power, he fell backwards and broke three vertebrae. And now Cowell is reportedly considering taking legal action against the manufacturer, with figures as high as 10 billion euros being floated by legal observers to cover pain, suffering, and lost income from missing several television appearances. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.